hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so as you probably know from the title today's video is all about what is in my backpack so i've been traveling for six months in total around southeast asia and australia and i've got another six months of traveling so i've currently emptied my whole bag out here and i'm gonna pack it again with you guys and i'll be explaining everything that is in the bag what has worked well and what i've got rid of so in this video i'm going to try and make it as quickly as possible because i can see that it's going to be quite a long video so, so i really hope you enjoy it so first of all we're going to start off with what's in my bum bag then we're going to go into what's in my carry-on bag and then we're going to go on to what's in my main bag which is this one here what's in my bum bag so this is an adidas bum bag but logo of the adidas has come off from, from lots of you so what's in here so in the front pocket is some medication lots of like rubber band hair tie then in the main one is a scrunchie my sunglasses a pair in ear earphones i couldn't say that apple pros a comb antiseptic wipes a mini hand sanitizer which is really handy and i fill this hand sanitizer up with another big hand sanitizer that's in my main bag but i only like to take a small one the other one's too big for this bag pen you always need a pen when you have a flight and you don't know when else you're gonna need a pen so this is very important and aloe vera lip gloss so that is everything in that bum bag so this is my carry-on bag so this is a car i think it's a skateboarding bag um it's got like these little two clips on that at the front which is obviously for skateboarding but it's quite handy because i clip a lot of things onto it such as my hat and sometimes i put shoes on here and yeah it's quite useful there's also a pocket at the front which is just quite small and inside is a massive pocket which is slightly frustrating i kind of wish there was more pockets to it there's also a water bottle holder in here and there's another pocket here which i don't really use so what i put into this bag so as you can see there's my hat this is also a little id card it's waterproof and you can take it apart and inside is my address in case this bag goes missing inside in the small pocket at the top put in an eye mask paracetamol padlock which is really useful for hostel and i put it in this pocket as it's just easy to get to i got this water bottle which holds 1.2 liters i got it in singapore it's actually a really good water bottle it holds water cold for 24 hours so that fits down the side like so i also attach this which is my travel pillow i loop this onto the top of my bag this takes up quite a lot of space so when it's hanging off the bag obviously it doesn't take up space and it's got its own little travel bag it hangs off it like so then i put my travel documents in that bag so this has my dive log book in lots of travel documents visas in here so i needed a visa for cambodia and vietnam so i put the visas in here got my health insurance in here as well um sim cards so this goes into my rucksack the reason why it's in this is so obviously the stuff doesn't get wet then i put in my ipad my phone my portable charger charging cable my jumper also goes inside and basically anything that doesn't fit in this bag i tend to put in here because there's quite a lot of extra space in here as you can see oh that's another thing i also put my sarong inside because if you go on any coaches or flight and it gets a bit cold a sarong is really helpful to go inside and i've just got this sarong here it's actually quite big but it rolls up really small so it's like perfect to go in my bag and it's i use it as like a blanket and it's really good i also use it as a curtain in hostel rooms some hostel bunk beds don't have a curtain so i tend to put the sarong on underneath the mattress and i use it as like a little curtain to make it a bit more private i will also put in my ipad and my book inside i also put in this travel adapter it has lots of different ones i think it's got the eu uk usa and oz one and you can put loads of things in there it also has four usb ports which is so handy this travel adapter was from amazon i think it cost 30 pounds but it's the best adapter i've bought because it just means i just need to take one when i go traveling 
and obviously I've been in Asia and Australia which is different travel port so it's been really handy. This goes in my carry-on bag as well in case I need my charger at the airport. Right so this is my bag so it is the Osprey Fairview Trek 70 litre bag. This bag is so good. I wanted this bag for so long and I actually went into a store in Brighton in the UK and they had this bag on sale. It was £100 off so I thought it was a no brainer to get it. It's the women's size one. So the things that are really good for it, one is that it's got this on the back so it means you can get some air flow going up on your back and it's not like sweaty like some backpacks it's also got these which you can wrap around your waist with little pockets on either side it's also got a water holder which at the moment has plastic bag in I tend to just leave plastic bags in there because you never know when you need a plastic bag such as if you've got dirty shoes or whatever that you're trying to put in your bag you can hold it like this there's also another handle up here you can also put a camel pack in this bag which i don't have i just don't use that um there's a pocket up the top there's another pocket in here which is the airplane bag which is like this massive bag which you put over the bag you use it for when you're on the plane and it stops the bag from getting all dirty and like holes in it which is really handy at the bottom there's a little pocket here and in this pocket you can put loads of stuff in here and this pocket's also connected to the main pocket there's also a zip here to put stuff in this section and then this bag opens up like a suitcase which is the best thing it just makes it so much easier than most bags where you have to like put your hand in like pull everything out and take it all apart just to find something at the bottom and it's really frustrating if you've got one of those bags you probably know how much effort it is i used to have one of them my main criteria for my new travel bag is it had to open up like this because it makes packing it easy and it makes it easy to find things as you can see it is huge. There is so much space in there. I'm gonna show you from a different angle. So this is a different angle of the bag. It's like this. I bought these, but I haven't actually really used them to be honest. They cost one pound. Just put them on the bag so I can attach things to it, but I haven't really used it. So yeah, so this is the pocket at the bottom. It's quite spacious. And then there's also a zip pocket here. Then you open the bag like so. In here, so this is where the camel pack would go and then the straw comes through and here there's like a little hole which goes to the front of the bag. Like I said, I don't have a camel pack so I just put clothes in this section. Then, so this opens up this section. I put stuff in this pocket and I put stuff all here. This closes up together and I use these straps and I basically pull it really hard so you'll see in a second when I'm packing it. And then I put all stuff all around. Really spacious and it's really good. Hence why I've got so much stuff. Um and there's lots of clips where so you can tighten it and make it a bit smaller. So that is my bag. Fairview Trek 70 litres so i will tag it in the description i personally think this bag is a really good size you can get bigger and i was looking to get bigger but the guy in the store was just like no only take 70 and then you'll take less things and it's less heavy so when the bag is full it only weighs 17 kilos which is literally nothing and most flights i've been traveling on I've been paying for 20 kilos, so it's really good. And I think there are some flights where it's 15 kilos, but I've never actually risked it just in case it was to go over. I don't really wanna pay for the extra fees. So next we'll talk about what I have packed. So we'll start off with underwear. I have taken seven pairs of pants and seven pairs of socks. And all of my underwear and socks goes in this front pocket here. I also have four bikinis. So I got this one in Australia. I bought this one from home, which is from ASOS. Got another bikini and a juicy one. And these bikinis go with the underwear as well in the front pocket. So I have six pairs of trousers. I will be wearing one pair of trousers on the plane as they do take up quite a lot of space. So going through these clothes, I'm also gonna put a photo of 
of wearing that item of clothing on this side of the screen so you guys can see me actually wearing it whilst traveling and i'll explain whether they've been helpful or not first pair of trousers i've got are these some long green cargo trousers elephant pants which i got in cambodia which have been really helpful i had to buy some jeans in australia because it was so cold so i bought these from a charity shop they are riddler's jeans some white trousers which are really handy for temple they are very dirty so i might actually throw these out because i think they've had their fair share of being worn these trousers and last but not least another pair of cargo trousers again i bought these in australia because i only had three pairs of trousers beforehand so i needed to get some as it was cold when i arrived with my trousers i'm not wearing them every day so i put them in this pocket which is at the bottom of the bag i roll them up and i put them in so i can see the top of them in case i need to get them then so that is them rolled up and inside i had to take my jumper off because it is literally a workout back in this bag oh there's so much stuff to pack next thing is top so i've only got three t-shirts which i actually think is enough because i tend to wear my sport tops and vests more often than my t-shirts the first one is this one which i got in the philippines the second one is this kango top and the third top is this one which is what the duck which i got in vietnam um i only use this top as my pajama top then running sports bras i've got two so i've got this one from lululemon i've got this gymshark one and then these sport tops i tend to just wear with shorts or trousers so i've got this plain black one from bowen t got this one which is slightly longer i actually got this from coles in australia i've got this this one which again is from lululemon and i've got this one from bow and tee so that's two sports bras and four sport t-shirts so i've got two vests as well so i've got this one which is from forever 21 i've got this one which i got in australia and that's from Ganda. And then I've got three going out tops. So I've got this one, which is from a market. This one, which is from Forever 21 as well. And then this one, which is from Urban Outfitters. And I just wear a bra underneath it. I've also got this vest top, which has been the most handiest top I've had in my whole suitcase. I just wear it as a cover up if, I've, if I'm walking from the beach back to my hostel or to the showers or something. Thing. me and charlie actually got this in spain it's not actually a real one but it looks like it and it's really 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 good it's really lightweight and it's good if you're wet because it just dries instantly and that is all the tops that i've got that is 11 tops in total then for overlayers i've got one shirt which looks like this i actually bought this one in a charity shop in australia i had another white one which matched these trousers but it got so dirty from Asia. So I decided to get another one, which again is also looking a bit worn, but they're really handy for if you're going to the beach, you want another cover up. It also wraps up quite small. So I tend to just leave it in my bag in Asia because you never know when you're gonna go to a temple and you don't wanna pay for a t-shirt because they won't let you in at all unless your shoulders are covered. Then I've also got this hoodie, which I got from Ganda in Australia. I've also got another jumper, which which is a zip up pink one. I only came out with one jumper and I would only recommend bringing out one jumper as obviously the temperature is quite hot. I just bought that gander one as like I said, I really liked it. So why not? So that is all of my cover up. So that is one shirt, two jumpers. Uh, like I said, only take one jumper. Then for bottoms, I've also got one pair of black leggings. Again, I bought these out in Australia. Bought quite a lot of stuff in Australia, so it's gonna be interesting when I do actually pack this bag properly. I've got I've got six pairs of shorts. So I've got a pink pair of bow and tee shorts, a black pair 
Got these Gymshark running shorts, which are really handy because they're really lightweight. I've got these green shorts from Urban Outfitters. I've got a pair of denim shorts, which are from Weekday. And I'm also wearing a pair of shorts. These green shorts from Buns. I've also got this black denim skirt, which is from the charity shop in Australia. So I've got four dresses in total. I've got this one, which is from a charity shop in Australia. I've got this one, which is from the Philippines. Peens, which looks like so it looks very creased <laughs> got this play suit which is from Shein and it crosses over at the back and I've got this dress which is from Vietnam and it's just a long dress I got from a market then I've got my toiletries which I won't go into I've got this resistance band from band which I don't really use but it's quite good I've got all my products for my hair so I've got shampoo conditioner face wash razors body wash all in there this bag which is really handy it's a water proof bag it's only five liters and i take it when i go scuba diving or any boat trip as it keeps my things dry got this bag as well which is really handy for the bee this bag i use for my dirty laundry it's just a zara bag which you're meant to keep shoes in it but it's really handy for laundry got two towels so i've got this one from tenerife which wraps up really small and i've got a blue and white stripy one which is from an australian brand and everyone has this towel out here so if you get it do not get a blue and white one get a different colored one um it's actually in the wash so i don't have it with me at the moment but i can show you a picture of it here so i've got another tote bag um i've got this tiny little running bum bag which is really good i've also got this bag which has all my electronic stuff in it so my gopro my chargers and cables all my equipment i use so i just put it in here going out bag and in here is more products so my face wipes it's got face masks in it wipes deodorant hand sanitizer insect repellent i've got a massive tub of aloe vera because obviously i am ginger so i burn a lot and this is really handy especially this branded one i use it almost every single day i've got two bucket hats an australian one and a fake north face one and my jbl speaker honestly you should see the state of this area i'm currently in all my stuff is everywhere so for shoes i've got these crocs these Birkenstocks, which I probably shouldn't have bothered packing because I don't really wear them that much. Flip flop. Got these Air Forces, which are really worse for wear. They definitely used to be thrown away, but I don't want to throw them away just yet because I still use them. And then I've just bought some running trainers. I'm probably going to start wearing these trainers more often something else that i forgot to mention was a tupperware box so this is a collapsible one from amazon and a sport which I've no idea where i got this from but these are essential items for hostels and if you're bulk cooking and if you want to take lunch to the beach so definitely take one of these so this is a list of exactly what i packed in my backpack um so i hope this is helpful for you guys that are traveling that is everything that is in my bag for my travels for one year can we just have a look at the mess i'm sat in <sighs> i've got to get this all in my bag oh look look at this this is what happens when you film and don't pack at the same time. I'm trying to make this video as short as possible, so I've kind of just thrown everything on the floor. So, let's get packing. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Wish me luck. So in this pocket, which is at the front at the bottom, I'm gonna put in my towel. So I've had to change cameras to my GoPro because my iPhone storage has run out, so that's fun. So in the bottom, I am putting in my towel. I'm also putting in my first aid kit and that is going in the zip here. Also got a North Face raincoat, which is so, so good. So this wraps up really small. This goes at the top. And my resistance band also goes in there. Then in this inside side pocket here, I put in my sports bras and any small top that I can wrap up really small and really tight. Just shove that inside. 
So I get in as many as I can so it's really, really full. And then all in this section, I put in dresses, top, and everything I can get in. So I'll just quickly do that now. So this currently looks very full, but I basically put as much as I can in this section. I then clip it and then I tighten it as much as possible. So I'll show you that. So this is what it looks like when it's like tightened as tight as possible so as you can see there's still lots of space around here here and at the side here and then i basically just fill this whole area around with my shoes and more of my clothes so i'll put a few more things in there and there's still some space at the top here so so i will put lots of things in those spaces as well so as you can tell i've really packed this so shampoo conditioner and stuff there then put my wash bag on top. I've put stuff all down the side. Got my bags down the side as well. Some of my GoPro stuff is in there. Got this, which is all my electronics. So that's going in this section here. I will put in my shoes on top. Got my hookers in there and my flip flops. And then I'm just gonna zip this up. And I have packed my bag. So that is my bags packed. So that's my 70 litre bag packed and my carry on bag and my bum bag. I'm gonna be wearing these trainers on the plane, the jeans and probably the t-shirt that I'm wearing at the moment. But I can't believe I finally packed it. But I think I will be getting rid of a few things because as you can tell, my bag is very full and it's really frustrating having to pack it every single time I'm in a hostel. And since being in Australia, I've obviously bought a few things. So my bag is a lot harder to pack at the moment, but I have emptied out a few of my things. So I'm gonna be giving that to charity shops. But yeah, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's not too long. Um, I try to make it as quickly as possible. If you want to stay updated with more travel vlogs from me, then please subscribe to my channel and please give it a like and a comment. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. Bye.